This is April Foster with Studio Calico, and I'm here with Scrapbook Expo, bringing you the tip of the day, which is misting and more, and our more and more is watercoloring. So lots of different things that you can do with mist and watercolor as your medium, and some of the products that I have um, are, have to do with our wood veneer and our chipboard and then our new mistable thicker. So let's get started. So one of the most basic techniques that you can do with mist is just to change the color of an object. So here I have our new mistable alphabet stickers. And as you can see, it, as a white item, they look really, really boring. But um, you can change these to be any color you want or multiple colors. You can do that one of several ways. You can do that by misting the item, which is super quick and easy. And all you need is a bottle of Mr. Huey's Mist. And you just spray it over the top. And you can leave that and let it dry and then scrape it off. But I'm, I want a, I want to more I want immediate results, right? And so you just wipe that off and you can see how well that colored the letter. And then you just place that on your page wherever you want it. You can do those any colors. You can also do the same thing with our new Mr. Huey's watercolors. So if you're more precise and you want that, um, you don't want the mess or the perceived mess of the mist. So here I'm taking a watercolor and just going to paint over the surface and you can see it's going to soak in and then I can wipe off the excess and again it's a more subtle effect so it just depends on the look you're wanting, wanting for your layout. Okay another technique to do with the mist is to color wood veneer. So these are some of our wood veneer pieces in our new collection just basic punctuation and I'm going to take that and color it so you can see the difference. This is the Rudolph mist that we had at Christmas time. It's a really good pinkish kind of red. And you can use that as a stain on the veneer. Super quick, super easy. You can also do the same thing. And I'm going to use the same, the pink, the coordinating pink Mr. Huey, so you can see the difference on the watercolors. And just paint it on. And I think with painting, you end up seeing the wood grain quite a bit more than with the mist because the mist is more of a sat gives you more of a saturation. But you can see the coordinating color is a little bit lighter. You can see more of the wood grain. I don't know if that's something that is easy to see on camera. All right. And last but not least, my absolute favorite mist on the planet is the white mist. This is the one I'm constantly running out of and I'll buy multiple bottles of just so I don't run out of. And all I've done is taken our new chipboard essential stars and these are, have a really low price point. They're $1.99 and they come in a variety of colors. So if you want to be able to use your items and get stretch them and get more out of them, this is the way you can do it. So I've turned them upside down on my paper and I'm going to use this to kind of create a night sky just by misting with white over top. Super quick, super easy, dries super fast. I like the word super today, apparently. And then I'm just gonna flip those off. And you can see the results. This ends up giving you a nice night, night sky type of background. You can do this with all your chipboard pieces, but um, they come in our collection in hearts and stars and cameras and geotags. So it gives you a good variety of stars you can use. And I've preserved the fronts of my stars so that they can be used on future layouts. Thank you.